Hello. Um, <laughs> uh, a little late, but only a minute. Better, better late than never. Than a never. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the first day of Tomb Raider Tuesdays. Um, we're going to be full on swan diving head first into nostalgia for me on this one. Um, we'll be where I will be playing through all of the the uh, Tomb Raider games, uh, not just the uh, more recent ones or like the first reboot, but like all of them, at least all of them that I currently have access to. Like there were some Game Boy ones that I don't have access to or anything like that. But hey, um, that more or less doesn't actually matter at this moment. The point is we're here and we're going to be playing the classic Tomb Raider from 1996. Um, I just want to quickly do some, uh, some brief audio checking. Uh, if you will bear with me a second, uh, actually, if you're in the chat, please let me know if I'm coming through loud and clear. Yes, I know that there is currently no game on display, and that's because it begins with an opening sequence that, you know, is part of the storyline. So I figured that I would, you know, include the booting up of that. Voice sounds good? That's good, that's good. Um, oh, hey, science. Um, hope you've been having a good day. Hope you all have been having a good day. It's, um... It's kind of weird to be doing this on a Tuesday. Hey, generic. Um, glad it sounds good so far. Uh, it's so weird doing this on a Tuesday. Like, I woke up knowing that I needed to, that I had this going on today. But then I was just like, you know, it's not until later today. I've got like six plus hours until then. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, and then my alarm went off saying it was uh, five-ish, and I was suddenly like, oh, oh damn, I am so not ready for this. <laughs> um, before we dive in, um, join in tomorrow to remember what day of the week it is. <laughs> yes, yes, um, totally. Uh, uh, though after this, I have the rest of the week off for now. Um, I say off, I mean relatively. Um, I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? Oh, before we dive in, uh, first off, make sure that you take a second. Hydrate a bit. Hydration is important. Um, water is good. It's like we're made up of like 70% of it. Uh, seven. It's like 70% of us is made up of water or something like that. I don't remember the exact math, but drink, hydrate, it's important. And take a second, stretch your, uh, stretch your back and shoulders and neck. Um, relax your jaw or, what, or anything else you might be currently clenching without realizing. Um, <laughs> uh, also, a general heads up, I have what is called Nightbot in the Twitch chat. Um... It allows you to do some various things, um, and I don't remember what all it does. But in it, uh, but there is a uh, if you type like an exclamation mark and then the command. In this case, I just typed in exclamation mark commands and it sent it, and it responded with providing a link to the list of uh, commands for this specific channel. Um, and uh, there are some other commands that I don't. Actually, I, I'm still learning Nightbot. I'm still learning about it. Um, but it's a it's a thing. It, um, currently available in it is links to my socials, to my Discord, things like that. Just check that out when when you get the chance. Um, if you get the chance. Um, uh, and yeah, so that's the thing. I'm trying to remember to to talk about that a little bit at the beginning of each stream because I've had it for a while and I only started talking about it yesterday. <laughs> Because uh, I totally forgot that I had it. Um, but anyway. Okay. Uh, so I mentioned already uh, that Tomb Raider is a bit of a nostalgic thing for me. Um, and it's one of those things where I didn't exactly necessarily realize how big of an impact it had on me. Um, or on how I currently am. Other than the fact that, like, I, you know, I loved the series. The series was always amazing. Um I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I, it was, like, I never actually had thought about the kind of impact it had had on me, uh, 
to turn me into the person I am today. And like, um, but like, if I thinking about it, Tomb Raider two, not the first one, unfortunately, the second one, um, which I will be getting in, which I will be diving into after. Uh, oh, hey, science! But before I forget, do me a favor and message into the uh, group hangouts that I am live uh, with a link if anybody wants to stop in. Because um, I, I know that um, that uh, CC mentioned that she was interested. Um, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, pre in preparation for this, I'd been, I was I suddenly was hit with the realization of how important the series actually was to into turning me into the gamer I am today. Because, like, Tomb Raider 2 was... I got a PlayStation 1, the, the PSX or whatever you want to call it, much after a lot of other people did. Like, I got it after the PlayStation 2 had already come out. Um, and because, you know, I, I'm one of those gamers where money issues has always been a part of it, you know, a part of my life, essentially. Uh, so I usually have to wait for things to go on sale or get them used or anything like that. Um, but, like, uh, Tomb Raider... Came when I finally got a PlayStation because I'd wanted one forever. But I, when I finally got one, uh, the person we bought it used from had a, like a, I don't remember how many games, but it was a stack of games that came with it. Um, and I'd gone through to confirm to see which ones are which ones interested me, which ones didn't, etc., etc., etc. And among them was Tomb Raider 2. Uh, and yes, I have props. Yes, I've kept the game. I've kept it in as good a condition as I could have over the years. In fact, I looked at it and I'm surprised that it's in as good a condition as it is. Like, for real. Um, like, uh, you'll, it, you'll see in a second what, what it could have ended up looking like. Um, but yeah, it came with this and, you know, normally, like, it didn't... Looking at just the front of it or the back of it, you know, there, there's not much there. Like, there's some stuff that is obviously put in there as uh, up to appeal to, like, hormonal teenage boys and stuff like that, which I was one, but that's not the main thing that attracted to me this series, uh, to this series. Um, but what actually mainly caught my eye was the fact that in addition to the game... Um, oops, my, uh, in addition to the game, I had, let's not knock things on the floor, because that would be loud and unnecessarily bad, um, I had, the, what came with it was, eh, the pages fell out, um, was the Tomb Raider strategy guide, the official Tomb Raider strategy guide for Tomb Raider 2, um, and so, you know, driving home after getting, after picking up the used, the thing we just bought used, um, it gave me a lot to look through and look at and figure out and everything. And like, it, because of that, I was able to determine pretty accurately what kind of game exactly Tomb Raider 2 is. And I'm a nerd, go figure. Look at me, that's pretty much the first and most accurate description you'll come up with. Uh, when you just glance at me, but, um, and I've always, I've always had an interest of, like, history and the things like that, and that, um, and this is an archaeology game, like, it's Indiana Jones, except a badass chick instead of a, sorry, there's a bug flying around my monitor, um, I got it, first try, anyway, um, the, uh, it's kind of like Indiana Jones, but a badass female instead of Harrison Ford, um, and, uh, so, I mean, it was, like, the concept intrigued me, and it was, it was a new game that I, <laughs> yeah, first try, hashtag first try, yeah, um, put an F in the chat for the bug I just smooshed with my bare hand, let me sanitize my hand, because that's going to be gross, now that I've literally been rubbing its guts all over my hand, <laughs> um, the, uh, um, Anyway, the um, I, I'm trying to remember where I was. Oh uh, yeah, uh, looking through the book, I could quickly determine that it was you know, 
Heartless Bug Killer. I'm sorry. I didn't want it in my line of sight. It was distracting, obviously. Um, the, uh... Man, but though I gotta say, if you're drawing, if you're calling me a heartless killer for killing a bug, man, <laughs> man, is Tomb Raider the wrong game for you to watch? Um, anyway, granted they look less real and more polygons, but anyway, um, <laughs> to finish my story, um. It intrigued me. I'd always been interested in history and mythology and things like that, even though I was less aware of that interest when I was younger, um, or at least more resistant to, uh, resistant to that interest. Um, but anyway, the uh, trying to make this short, um, Tomb Raider 2 was the first game that was not like a Star Wars game or like a Sonic the Hedgehog game or like a Star Trek game. Um, yes. I mean, in the first three games, you can. Uh, they're, they're always... In fact, I will be starting there. When we, when we get into the gameplay, I will be starting in the... What is the tutorial uh, level? Uh, they give you more to do in the second and third games than in the first one. The first one is literally just a tutorial level. Um, but the uh, with the second and third games, they give you uh, more, much more to do. And I will be actually, when I get to those games, I'll actually be doing that. In uh, 4 and 5 and 6, it kind of fell off. And then in Legend and Anniversary, which is the first reboot series, is they brought them back to a degree um but yeah so tomb raider 2 was the first thing that was essentially outside of my only genre of experience up to that point in time uh with video games and up until then i'd only really been like i wouldn't even call myself a casual i would be i was i would consider myself a less than casual gamer because i mean while i did play games I was very, very niche in what I played. Um, up until the point of getting a PS1, I'd only really had a Sega Genesis. And so I was very limited to just those kinds of games. And so it was like Sonic the Hedgehog, and there, was a, there were a couple of Star Trek games on there, and, you know, things like that. Um, but, like, Sonic the Hedgehog essentially hooked me onto gaming in the first place. Tomb Raider 2 brought me into expanded my horizons and ultimately through the course of the uh love of the ser of that of the Tomb Raider series brought me into PC gaming. And how that happened was with Tomb Raider 2, I was like, "Oh my god, this game is amazing. I played it and I played it. I played it. I used I got help from the strategy guide to help me figure it out." Um my cousin would even, like, uh, sometimes be sitting there and going through the strategy guide while I was playing and helping me out, um, though that was not as often uh, that she would do that, but it was fun. Um, and, uh, but anyway, the, um, eventually, like, I start, I told my, I then to uh, talked to my mom, because, you know, I was, it, I was early teens, like, I was either preteen to, like, I was, like, maybe 14 to 16. I don't remember the exact age when we got this. Um, but the... Uh, so, e either way, I didn't have my own money. So, it was all up to my mom uh, to provide... Uh, to be getting me games and stuff like that. And so, I was like, I love this Tomb Raider series. Um, I know it's a little more, a little too violent for your tastes. But, I mean, you know, etc, etc, etc. And over the years, I did eventually get a copy of Tomb Raider 1... 3, 4, and Chronicles. And then it was right around the time that uh, Angel of Darkness came out on PlayStation 2 that I was actually able to get a PlayStation 2, finally. Um, which, actually, I think, actually, thinking about it, I think Angel of Darkness was out a bit longer before, a bit, a bit of time before I got the PlayStation 2. But I don't remember for sure. Anyway. Need, but then, you know, then 
stuff with uh, um, game designers and uh, companies happened. Um, one became defunct, and another was bought out or something like that. I don't I don't remember exactly. Um, but the original creator of the game series kind of stopped existing after that point, which was sad. Um, but ultimately fortuitous because they then went on to bring in another uh, group of an, uh, another producer of it um, with uh, so it was produced by um, I think this is how you pronounce it Eidos that's how I've always pronounced it E I D O S um, Eidos Interactive or Eidos Interactive um, and uh, then it was, but it was created by the developer, I want to say is the term, uh, Core Dynamics, um, which is, core, and Core Dynamics is what went defunct or got bought out or something. I don't remember exactly. Um, and then uh, Eidos continued to retain the, the IP for it and uh, brought in, an, I don't know if they brought in the same team, but under a different name or what, I don't remember the story fully, but then they started working with another group called Crystal Dynamics, which I think, I think that's what it's called. Um, actually, does it say here? Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, Crystal something or other that, um, then created, that then essentially rebooted the series, um, with Tomb Raider Legend. Um, and then they hit the 10-year ten, ten anniversary in 2006. They hit the 10-year anniversary of the original Tomb Raider and created Tomb Raider Anniversary, which is essentially a remake, remaster, uh, reimagining of the original Tomb Raider set within the the new canon of, the, of Tomb Raider Legend. Um, and then they finished off that trilogy with Tomb Raider Underworld. Now it's Tomb Raider Underworld. I'm currently holding up the piece, the PS2 copy, but I have the PC copy up here somewhere, and I'm I'm not gonna let myself go digging for it. Otherwise, this will just take much longer than it should, because um, I've got it up here somewhere, and I don't. Anyway, um, I originally before I got it on PlayStation 2, I got it on PC, and it was the first. The reason for that was because I, by that point in time I was in college, and it was just easier for me to be playing games on the computer than on a console. Um, and so uh, I got it on I got it on the computer, and so it was one of the it was not the first, but it was one of the first uh, games that brought me into PC gaming, which is ultimately what led me into where I am today, you know, um, so, you know, the whole reason we're all sitting here listening to me ramble like an idiot is because of Tomb Raider, uh, so, you know, take that how you will, <laughs> um, I've loved this series, like, every incarnation of it, every game that I've played of it, um, like, they even have, they even, it's currently owned by, uh, Eidos was, it was folded into, uh, Square Enix, or bought out by Square Enix, or something like that, and then rebranded something, Eidos something, Eidos International? I don't remember, I don't remember, I looked at it, I looked it all up yesterday, but I don't, I don't remember offhand, and I'm not going to Google it again because, again, time. It's already been 20 minutes. Um, but since then, Square has really has rebooted the series yet again um, with three new games, which I love all of. Granted, you know, like any game, they all have their own problems in one way or another, but eh, I still love them. Um, they also released some, there's some side games that are not connected to the main Tomb Raider games that are, uh, Lara Croft and the whatever, like the, there's one that's the Guardian of Light, and I think there's an, I think it's Temple of Osiris, I think is the second one, um, which are completely different st genre of game, but they're still, like, an action-adventure thing, they're just a different type of gameplay, um, and then, they also came out with a couple of mobile games, 
Uh, one of which is available on Steam. The other one is free to play on mobile, uh, which is one of those, oh, what is it, run and collectible things? Like like Temple Run, I think, is the original archetype of the of this type of thing, where it's just like they're on a rail, and then you have to like swipe and tap and all of that in order to get the the being to the the, the character to move and jump and up and survive. Um, that one is called Tomb Raider Relic Run or Lara Croft Relic Run. I don't remember which. Um, but the other one that I mentioned, which is the one that's on Steam, is called Lara Croft Go, and I have that one, and it's amazing. I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's more of a puzzle game, which is pretty great. Um, so I will, uh, when we get to it, that is one of the games I will be playing in, in addition to the others, just because I really enjoyed it. Um, it's nice, chill, and, eh, not too difficult, but also not too easy, from what I recall. Um... It's pretty light on the story, but it's still pretty fun, if I remember correctly. But anyway, so, um, but yeah, so Square Enix currently owns it. Square Enix? Enix? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm now blanking on the pronunciation. It doesn't matter. Square is, um, is pretty great at what they do. Hey, Blue, how you doing? Howie, Howie, that's right. You you, you don't mind your, your real name being used. Hey, Howie, how you doing? Welcome to me monologuing about Tomb Raider instead of actually playing it. <laughs> um, I was actually, I was basically Enix, you think? I'll be getting to the actual game in a second, I promise. Um, I was actually about to wrap it up. Um, I was about to, I was just about to say that Square Enix, uh, you're, I think you're right, because Enix sounds, uh, feels right to say, but anyway, um, so Square is generally pretty great, um, they're also the ones behind the Final Fantasy series, which is another game series that, you know, cement, uh, further cemented my, uh, my foray into gaming and stuff like that with Final Fantasy 7 and then 8 and 9 and 10 and on, um, and then the earlier games that I also played. Um, but to wrap this up and actually get into the thing. Um, in summary, I love Tomb Raider. It's a key. It's been a cornerstone of my life. And I didn't realize how much of a cornerstone it was until I started prepping for this stream. Um, and so I'm really excited to be diving into this. Um, so let's go. I even have a Lara Funko. I didn't know I wanted to include that somehow, but I didn't know how to include it into the conversation organically. So say hi to the Lara Funko. Love her. Anyway. Um, <laughs> OK, so, yeah, don't forget to take a moment, take time and hydrate and stretch and relax, clenched muscles and all that. And let's dive on in to Tomb Raider 1 from 1996. Maybe. Come on, Steam. Please do this. Oh. Okay, well, it's actually going, it's working with OBS. That's good. That was one of the things I'm worried about. However, it glitched. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. I had, I had done this and set it all up and it was, it was working fine. And now it's not. Steam, Steam, Steam can be glitchy. So much sexy triangles. Um, polygons. They're polygons. <laughs> um, where was I going? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to go in and boot it from directly from the thing, because I think that is one of the things that solves it. Anyway, I, I'm currently... Excuse me while I have... Uh, Old game meets new hardware tech, uh, technical difficulties. Um, here we go. Ah, damn. Technical difficulties. Thy name is Old Games. Okay, and now we continue into this tech, into, into this thing. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so unfortunately it looks like I'm going to be having difficulty actually uh, 
with the intro movies. Uh, let's see. Well, let me. Okay. 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 Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just play the intro movie directly from the folder. So give me a second to set that up in uh, OBS, um, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Um, but anyway, I want, you know what, actually, uh, give me a second. I have, let me turn, where is it? What am I looking for? This is what I'm looking for. Let me turn that on. Hey, there's my desktop. Ignore the background. It's from DC Comics. Anyway. All right. So now let me send the audio to the correct device, which means you guys should be able to hear it now. How does that make your wallet run? Wow. Okay. Come on. Come on, VLC. Work for me. I know, right? Yeah, I was trying. I think I think I know what the problem is. I was trying to do a. Uh, I'll talk about it in a bit. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. You can't tell, but it's a bunch of cash falling from the, like from the top of the camera. Peru? Vast mountain ranges to cover? Look at how old that laptop is. Rocky Crags. How, I mean, how modern. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapak. That's my That's interest. interest. You could leave, you could tomorrow. leave tomorrow. Are you busy Are you tomorrow? Busy tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so now let me actually boot up the game again. Uh, so yeah, the, one of the amazing things about that is that the, um, let me transition back to this. Okay. Uh, one of the amazing things about the, about special edition 3DS with a, with a keyboard. <laughs> well, I mean, I think Natlo would disagree with you, but whatever. Um, Anyway, so I think uh, something that's amazing about Tomb Raider, um, if it will let me, come on OBS, there we go, hey! Alright, so one of the things that I was doing in prep for this is I was trying to uh, make things work a little bit better with, uh, with, uh, modern technology. Uh, not only Windows 10, but, like, anything newer than Windows 2000, I guess. Um, anyway, let's, let's, hmm. Sound effects aren't exactly coming through. Um, hmm. Well, I, we'll, I'll figure it out later. Uh, and I'll figure it out before next week. Anyway, uh, one of the things that I was doing was that I was having to... I, I went in and had to do a lot of um, updating and uh, things like that. Unofficial patches, things like that um, to make it work. One of the things that I tried to do was incorporate... Um, uh, 
remastered versions of the FMV sequences. And supposedly you can get that to work. However, you know, stop it. <laughs> um, supposedly you can get it to work. However, obviously it's, I, I couldn't get it to work. And so I tried to roll back and uh, anyway, apparently it's not working, but it was working earlier, but whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, I was trying to get, I tried to get it all to work. But one of the things that's amazing to me is the fact that all of the original graphics and uh, FMV sequences and everything were originally uh, rendered at uh, 6480 resolution, which, I mean, was standard for the time period, but is like tiny as fuck now. So like, if I were to, if I just opened this in the original base Steam version, it would be so incredibly distorted and uh, low resolution because of how stretched everything would be to fit the screen. And when I opened it into uh, windowed mode, it was like that big. <laughs> so anyway, all right, uh, let's start off with the with Welcome Lara's to home. home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Yeah, the Use sound the effects aren't working. To go into the so music I need to room. do that. Actually, let me. Before I forget this stuff, let me... Actually, I can just take my no take notes with my phone. Um, let me make a reminder so that I can uh, fix TR1 SFX and FMVs. Uh, and then any other issues I discover, I will try to uh, take care of then as well in be before next week anyway so all right just gonna run through the quick tutorial um it's gonna be so hard not to use the the analog sticks okay. on this okay. thing let's do some, let's tumbling. Do some tumbling press the, press jump, the button. jump button that's not the jump button now press it again and quickly again. press one of the directions and i'll jump that way Am I coming through my speakers? I am coming through my speakers too. Sorry if you were getting an audio, a bit of an audio loop. Um, hold on just a second. I just realized that I should mess with the controls a little bit because. Oops, 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 oops. That's not what I wanted. Uh, shoot. I don't remember what I have it. Oh, I have it as control. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the original, like, okay, let, let's go back to the de default keys. Look at how unintelligible these are. Alt for jump. Control for action, which is the mu the button you use 90% of the time. Space for draw weapon. I mean, some of these make sense. Like, right, uh, the step left, step right is on the delete page down. Um, walk is shift, etc. But damn. Anyway, um, okay. So I want that to stay that. Okay. I'm having to use a profiler in order to actually get things to work, and apparently it's not connecting. Oh, it helps if I'm actually pushing the right button, doesn't it? Ha! There we go. All right. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the music, uh, it, there's not really any music in this uh, level. Um, like, that was originally the case as well. All right, and then we use that to walk. This is step left, step right. Let me make it so I can actually see the Twitch chat. That might help. Um... <laughs> uh... How I remember somehow trying to play the original Pac-Man on a modern PC, since the speed is tied to the CPU clock, I'd rather <laughs> you'd zoom and die. Yeah, I think I've encountered that problem try uh, trying the exact same thing before. Yvonne says, "Oh my God, look at that butt." I know, right? It's it's um. Let's let's see if I can't back her into a corner to get a better view. It's a little um. 
Come on. Wedge the camera against the wall. I mean... You can see a little bit of curve there. She's not completely a flat-ass chick. Um... <laughs> Uh, one of the games, uh, you and your two neighbors running around the mansion for hours trapping the butler in the freezer. Yeah, poor Winston. He always got trapped in the fucking freezer. Um, and, uh, sorry, hold on a second. I have to make sure that I keep an eye on my Facebook chat because I'm waiting for a message from my mother. So let me make sure that Facebook is open and ready on my phone. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, that's not the point. I know it's not the point. Um, trapping the butler in the freezer. Uh, he's in this, I think. No, oh, he's the main not. Hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Yeah, this is her, uh, her, her mansion. Back, way back when, <laughs> um, back when there was only really two, two rooms you could get into, um, they added so much more in the second game, which is the one that, where you actually lock the butler in the, the freezer, um, but, um, yeah, there's not really much to do in this version of it, except to just do the tutorial, so, basically this is me just making sure that the controller I'm using is working. Run up to a crate, and while still pressing forward... Press action, and I'll vault up onto it. And to remind myself of how controls work. Oh. Eat your heart out, Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, none of, the, none of the sound effects are working. Like, she would have been grunting and all that shit by now. Yeah, every every movement has like a hook or a and everything, and it's not working. So, oh well. Just casually has the Ark of the Covenant laying around. She said it's going into storage. This used to be the ballroom. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button and walk to the white. With the walk button down, I won't fall off, even if you try to make me. If you want to look around. Press and hold the look button, then press in the direction you want to look. One of the, one of the one of the things that I used to uh, make it so that the game would work on this uh, on modern technology is I uh, it, it would actually have gotten rid of that uh, black fog down there. Except you know it, it would it, it's part of the original Tomb Raider charm is that black fog. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Then press jump immediately, followed by forward, and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Press forward and I'll climb up. If I do a running jump, I can make a jump like that no problem. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, Lara. Hold that. Hold that thought. <laughs> yeah, her house is totally a gold mine. Um, for thieves and anybody who wants to break in. Anyway. Then again, the she, edge with the white line she's until very pro-gun rights, at, at least then in the early games. Walk and tap backwards to give me a run-up. Press forward, and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. I won't actually jump until the last minute. I didn't mean to do that second one, but hey, it works. All right, so that was that instruction. Right, this is a really big one. So do a running jump is exactly as before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. I like how they actually kind of cha did some of the coloring on like around her um around where the light would be hitting her butt and her legs and her skin and everything like that like they did they tried to do actual proper highlighting and stuff like that 
Nice. It's the little touches. Try to vault up here. Oop, press that's forward and not what I told action. you to do, Lara. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. But press right and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Then press forward. I should wait for her to finish before I interrupt her with the next line. Tap backwards and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. And she can't quite, quite, can't quite reach that. Let, let's see, can she reach this one? Let's uh, do that. She could. Will it let her grab her? Or grab it? Nope. Okay. Okay. And let's go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. Yep, not even the, the old swimming sound effects and anything. <sighs> ah, air. Just use forward and left and right to maneuver around on the surface. Press jump to dive down for another swim about or go to the edge and press action to climb out. All right, enough fooling around in the pool. Right, now I'd better take off these wet clothes. All right, new game. Let's see if this FMV will play. Ha, nope, okay. Well, then in that case, hold that thought. <laughs> I thought that would be the case after it um, didn't play the, uh, play the initial one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going... Actually, let me just... Hold on. Give me this. I want... Um, what am I looking for? Media source, maybe? No. No, no. Because no. that is... Because what I want... I think what I want is... um. What is the source I want to add... Video capture device? Window capture, that's what it is. Um, okay, so give me this, give me that, and then this, and then FMV. I believe it's snow that's next, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now change that to... Where is it? Not that one. Oh, do I have to? Oops. I'm a little ahead of myself, I think. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Um, match title, otherwise find window of same type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then I want audio, right, which is this button and swapping this to this device because my computer setup is complicated um oops i did not mean to minimize obs come back here all right so that's set up now let's set that over to here oops let's make it so you can actually see me in the process hi guys i'm back <laughs> um so yeah <laughs> Um, hopefully I'll be able to fix this so it's not a problem in the future, but anyway. Is it coming through? It does not seem that it's coming through. Of course not. That would be too easy. <sighs> okay, you know what? Okay, come here. I'm just going to go back to that, transition to that. There we go. All right, now let me... <sighs> Do this again. And then where is my there it is.
Dun, dun, dun. I mean, that's a very accurately rendered uh, grappling hook, to be fair. No, or people. The eyebrow. The eyebrow always kills me. <laughs> All right. SC1 Zerglings. SC. Starcraft. Starcraft. Um. Why is my controller now not fully responding? Ah, there we go. No? Yes, there we go. Okay. Time to go down to the, down the deep, dark tunnel. Following the ominous footprints in the in the snow? Question mark. And here is our first trap. That's not uh obvious at all. The problem with the no sound effects and it means that I am absolutely not going to be able to hear any uh, incoming uh, problems. Okay, why is... Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, this is, this is, this is going to be great, guys. Sorry. Um, it wants me to go up there. I wonder why. Um, but I will not, at least not yet, because there's all kinds of shit that you can explore and see and find. Okay, guns firing. Okay. Um, <laughs> trying to remember. Uh, well, well, maybe. Maybe you do just go up in here. Come here, bats. Come on. I see you. Let me Okay, fine. Run away. I don't care. Yep, I knew you would be coming back, little bitch. Um, okay. So obviously it wants me to go where the bats came from. But you know where I'm not going to go? Where the bats came from. Oop, that is not what I told you to do, Lara. Come on, Lara. Turn. There you go. Now up. Oh, okay. Come on. There, there is a, is, hold on, is this not the right spot? I know this is, hmm, I know this is where I have to be, because there's a secret up there, but, uh, let's see, can I figure it, oh, nope, nope, that's not my mom messaging me, um, hmm. Sorry, got a message and I'm trying to see if it's okay.
Oh. Maybe? Is this how I do it? No. No, it's not. I'm going to go back and check something. Cause I, I've i memorized at least this first level of stuff, and I know there's something back here. Uh, and health packs are good. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, I was right. There is something over here. Right there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Lara. Lara, please. And then slide and jump and grab and up. Oh, wait, wait. Something I forgot to do. <laughs> well, there's not... Not all audio doesn't work. Oh, come on. Do what I'm telling you to do. There we go, there we go. Because she is entirely overkill in every aspect when, she, when you tell her to be. Okay. And then action to pick up that lovingly when rendered health pack. And then... Onward we go. Wrong button. Come on. F Facebook, stop giving me notifications that I don't care about. Keeps making me think that I'm getting the... I'm getting a message from my mom, which, like I said at the start of the stream, I'm waiting for, but whatever. Um, okay. Funny story. Um, the first time I... Not the first time. One of the early times um, that I... Ling's best... Un um, Hold on. Maybe you should start caring about the notifications Facebook has worked so hard. <laughs> I mean, I would if they were if they were not just that. Um... Come on, I know that you can do this, Laura. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'm trying to be a little bit too. Uh... Come on. Come on. Did I go too far? No. Ling's best unit. I'm sorry, I don't get that reference, man. Lara, I know you can grab that ledge. Come on. Okay, I give up. There's another secret up there, and I know it. And that's how you get up there. She's supposed to grab the ledge and allow you to pull her up. But, oh well, I give up. I'm not fighting with it. I've already had enough tef technical difficulties. In, ca in the case that I have to uninstall and reinstall this in order to get the FMVs to work, I am I will, you know, just get it then. Um, if I have to redo the fucking whatever. Um, all right. Zerglings are the... Ah! I see. I'm sorry. I am not much of a StarCraft person. I'm uh, I'm aware of it, but I'm not, like, up on it. That came before I was too into gaming. Well, this isn't ominous at all. I'm still supposedly following the survivors of that wolf attack. How the hell did the wolves climb those uh, those ledges and then come down these stairs and vice versa? StarCraft 2 is still relevant. I mean, if, if you care. No, I know it is. I know it is. It's just, it's really just not much of my stand, my genre. Uh, I made this creepy noise. Okay. Is this the bear or the wolves that I have to ba have to fight now? More bats. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else? Does she latch on to anything else? Nope. Okay. All right. Um, well, 
I mean, it looks like I should be able to just walk right through that. Because, I mean, like, Lara, just cram, cram yourself through that large-ass space that's right there. You know, but whatever. <laughs> Look at those obviously 2D, but camera direction reliant, uh, random boulders. Lol. Um, I love this game so much. I really, I love Tomb Raider Anniversary, too, but I really think that they should straight up remaster or remake the, uh, original classic games. Like, full-on story and everything. Not just, re uh, just, not just, uh, what's the word? I don't remember. Not just adapt it into whatever canon. Yeah, I know they do. Well, some of them do. Um, but not all of them. It depends on the game, it depends on the makers, it depends on how much on their budget, things like that. Ah, yes, here come the wolves. All right. Speaking of, hey Wolfie. Bye Wolfie. Oh, and there's the one that I shot that limped off into the dark. And that was another one. Okay. I really want to know how the wolves got from the entrance to here, but you know, whatever. All right. Um, let's see. Actually, hold on. Let me let me try to remember about this room. Come on, Lara. Okay. If I remember correctly, it's pretty straightforward. You just go across the bridges. But oh, there's an now there is another wolf down there. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. I'd have known that if I could hear him, but <sighs> Facebook, um, yeah, yeah, just... yeah, I think this is pretty straightforward. I don't remember any complications, at least not in this version of the game. Um... Secret passages opened only by their wolfish paws. Actually, now that I think about it, I should actually drop down here and... Uh, okay, good. I almost was about to say my health, but no. I should actually drop down. Ah! Hmm. Oops. I don't know if that's a uh, error because modern technology and old technology doesn't work, but or if it's just something that, they was, that originally got missed. But, oops, that's a little bit of a transparent stone there. Ah, hello. You're not disgustingly creepy at all. Okay. All right. Um, I feel like there was a health pack around here somewhere, but I don't remember for sure. There was something. There was something odd about this room that is not normal for Tomb Raider. Well, not Tomb Raider, but for... There was something wrong, uh, weird. There was something weird about it, but I don't remember what exactly. Oh, well. Okay, fine. Don't let me grab the bridge. I'm gonna try again, then. Rude. There you go. Yeah, the mummy always faces you. It's it's the same category of assets as the... as the... 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 the, the rocks and stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, not fucking creepy at all! I always forget that that mummy is there in this version. Alright. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Hold on, can I? Health pack, pistols. Okay, good to know. Down here, can I save it anytime I want? I can save it anytime I want, I think. Okay, okay, okay. In the play, in the original original version, um, and the slash the PlayStation One version, uh, there were there were save crystals that you had to use. Right, you could not just save anywhere you wanted. All right. All right. So you can't hear it. 
but I know it's there because this is okay. Let's see, will it show up? Where are you? Oh, that's right. You don't get triggered yet. And let's just do. Oh God, that's not what I meant to do. Hi, buddy. Damn it. How's my health? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to use that health pack. Yeah, this is the bear room. I was trying to get him to spawn. Uh, and I don't remember if he spawns only if you fall or if you uh, dangle or what. I don't remember if there's a way to trick him out or not. I mean, he's he's there. You can hear him growling and everything. But he's, like, back here and doesn't come running out until... Oh, bats. Bats. Secret passages, the mummy always faces... Uh, pretty damn lush for being hidden inside of a snowy-as-fuck mountain. Yeah! Uh, I mean... I, we're not inside the mountain anymore. I mean, we are still inside the mountain, but we're in... As you can see by the uh, actual mason work and everything, we're actually supposed to be inside of man-made structures now. So... Plus, Lara is not currently freezing to death in her shorts and tank top. And so... This is what I remembered. Okay. Yeah. So it can't be that cold. Okay, so this opens that, which opens back out into the... Bridge room. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Do I have anything more hostile to fight? Does that spawn anything that it shouldn't have? I don't think so. Okay. Can't be that warm. I mean, it depends. It depends on how deep you are. Plus, I mean... Hold on. Lara, pull up. Lara, pull up. Um... I swear I was not holding down the walk button. But if you want to show off, go off. All right. Uh, there's also those. So I think we're pretty open air right now. I don't know how that works. But, I mean, you know. Anyway. Over. Geometry. There we go. All right, now let's, because the reason I asked, I, I, I stopped and looked, uh, checked to see if I could save was because there's supposed to be a save crystal here. I remembered that, uh, I remember that because, you know, this would be the first place you could actually save the game. Um, I think. Okay, now I don't now I don't remember if this is anniversary that I'm thinking of or this version, but I think in one of them if okay, yes, 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 yes. There's at least one health pack around here somewhere. Um so how's everybody doing? How's that how's chat doing? Um how is is Yvonne currently hanging out with you? Or is she like in the other room, you know, doing her Yvonne stuff? And who else is currently in the chat? Is she dipped? The coward. She does not appreciate my Tomb Raider stuff. <laughs> Sad face. Um, Mr. Generic. Doing good. Playing some Animal Crossing. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Well. Action music. Yep, that's what I thought. Two dead, is there more? Nope, okay. Hmm. 
You're trying to resist turning your PC on? Why? Because it's late at night? How is playing some Factorio? Cool, cool. Science, you still in? Or did you, uh, dip out already? Ah, good, another health pack. I needed one. Lara, Lara grab the health pack. Um. Tell Yvonne I called her a bum. Actually, don't do that. Um. Okay, so there's a door there. Uh, there's those doors, which, if I remember correctly, are timed. There's the switch for said doors there, I believe. Um, oh. Sorry, the message I've been waiting for came, finally came in. Alright. You have to sleep in a few hours and you've been staying up a tad too late. That's fair. That's fair. Science is here. Good, good, good. Tomorrow is your Friday. Hey, that's awesome. Alright. Now that I have that message, I just need to go in here and do... Um... Shoot. Okay, um... <laughs> Riveting, watching me uh, text my mother, isn't it? Tomorrow is your Friday. Wednesday? Like, as in you're done for the rest of the week, or you're done for like three days? Come on. There we go, Facebook. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So that's taken care of, so I shouldn't have to be worrying about anything like that again. Uh. Come on. Phone. Let me go back to, please let me go back to the Twitch chat, phone, please, please, phone, please. Okay, 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 there we go. You work Sunday to Wednesday, gotcha, gotcha. I'm torn between I'm sorry and at least tomorrow's Friday for you. Okay. So if I remember correctly, this is eh, by that sound, it is indeed another secret. It's a pretty big mural. Uh, and those look like dart traps, but they're not because you don't see the little sticking out uh, whatchamacallits. And here's this large medical pack. Instant full health. Once I, yeah, once I use it. All right. Okay. And then jump back and jump across. And let's just make sure I can remember how to do this. <sighs> okay. Don't remember how long this is. Okay. So can I do this? 
Okay, that's too far of a jump, obviously. Okay. All right, so welcome, new viewer. Welcome, welcome. If I know who you is, please message me in chat. If I don't know who you is, please message me in chat. Um, okay. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Lara. Ah, thank you for that, Lara. And I just lost the new viewer. Rip. Okay. Um, if I do that, that'll overshoot. Correct. Okay, so what I'll want to do is let's try a standing jump. And once again, I am sorry, I'm so sorry that the actual, like, proper audio is not working. All right, cool, okay. So in theory, I can do that. That's good to know. Okay. That's what I'm going to try to do, and then we'll see if it'll work. Um... I will, I will, I will definitely have it fixed by next week. I hope. And then walk up to the edge, jump, and then jump, and then run through. Hey, completion. Okay. Dart traps, more dart traps, yay. Okay, oh, wolf. Lara, do not fall down the hole. Okay, wolf dead. <sighs> okay, um, all right. Oh, I said don't fall down the hole. Is it? Okay, it looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. <sighs> okay, so then I'll mess with that in a second. Let me confirm that that is indeed where I am supposed to go. Eh, looks like it. All right. And down we go. Lara, gun's out, I said. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I know. I remember where I am. Oh, this is fun. Okay. In Tomb I, I don't remember fully for this, but in Tomb Raider Anniversary, they made this um, a bit more, a bit, a bit of a to do to da. Um, okay, so there's dart traps down there. You can see the little barrels of them sticking out from the walls. Um, then I need to get over there. I think I saw a health pack over there that I need to grab. It's either it's either on this end or that end down there. Um, and I need to get this door open. The big stone door is right here open. All right. There's also going to be wolves all throughout here, if I remember. Okay. Maybe not there. Um, and I don't remember if these doors are timed or not. I want to say they are. So I'm going to treat them like they are. Lara, rotate. Lara. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Let me take a second and actually hydrate, because my mouth is kind of dry. It's like I've been talking for an hour and almost a half. Okay. Oh shoot, it is almost 7.30. Here come the wolves. There they are. Is there another one or just that one? Just that one. The music in this game is so good. So good. In all of the series. 
the Tomb Raider theme song is the classic Tomb Raider theme song is one of my favorite, like all time favorite games or game all time favorite game theme songs. Alright. Now that I've wasted a little bit of time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is timed. Um So I am gonna waste this initial opening. Uh just to look around. Maybe Make sure nothing else is triggered in the process. Okay, so yeah, those are now open. Uh, this wooden gate down here is the one that I meant that I was ragging on her for not just cramming herself through. Um, let's see here. Did anything spawn over here with the pulling of that lever? I probably still could have made that because I think they're pretty generous. If I remember correctly, they're actually pretty generous with the timed stuff in the first level. Nothing spawned over here. Okay. <laughs> welcome, viewers. Um, welcome, welcome to Tomb Raider Classic from 1996. Um, oh shit. Oh. Oh, it is still open. So maybe it's not a timed door like I was trying to remember it being. Those are some big-ass darts. Those are more like arrow traps than dart traps. Two of three secrets. That's because the one secret that we uh, that I, I knew where it was, I was it just wouldn't let me get to it, and I didn't want to take time to mess with it. Um, I got all six pickups and uh, 13, all 13 kills that I'm aware of. And now... Let's, let's just take a second and save. We are now officially on the second level. Um, if I remember correctly, there's like five wolves, six wolves, maybe only four. I don't know. If I remember correctly, there are wolves like immediately in here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yep, there they are. Okay. Lara, jump. Okay, that was one, two, three, and the first one I killed, which is over there, four. Okay. Okay. <sighs> which is the same, a similar sound effect to the one she makes when she when you use a health pack on her. Lol. Uh, okay, so stairs, and then more stairs. I am not going to go that way yet. Let's go this way first. Um, and then over here, greenery, water, which would probably be freezing to swim through. Um, what's over here? Lara. Lara, I swear to God. Come on. Okay. Ah, another wolf. Mm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. That way over there goes down a hallway that looks ominous. And then that takes me back there, and then there's more over there. Okay, let's go back to this direction. Oh shoot! I don't. I didn't set an alarm to remind me that it was almost uh, eight. Oh well. So Chad, if you don't mind doing me a favor, um, when it's like. 10 or 15 till, just let me know so I can start wrapping up. Okay, that takes us back to the other thing. What's this way? Guns, just in case I need them. Hey, look, bats. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot another bat will will 
let me will it show it to me come on come on I, it's something that i forgot to point out will let me see her face come on come on let me see her face i know you don't like showing her face in these early games because there's absolute no no camera control oh, come on okay well you can't exactly it's hard to tell but like the minute you start firing she act her face expression actually changes to a to a to a gritting her teeth snarl type of grimace face which is pretty cool especially for an era of video games where characters faces never changed even when they were like okay well that's a key that's a keyhole all right so i'm gonna need something there um oh 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 i remember okay it's not this set okay okay you got rickrolled in 2020 i mean i'm not surprised it's got actually gotten a, a bit of a resurgence on um some locations okay that's what i was thinking of right there okay this is that ominous hallway I was talking about, I believe. Oh, wolf! That would be why you were ominous to me, because I remembered there being danger. Come on, lock on. There you go. Lara. Lara. Oh, you already killed him. Good, 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 good. good. Um, I thought I saw a health. There it is. Health pack. What what Rick rolled you? Was it a um, random YouTube video link, or... Uh... Did someone send you a thing and say, yo, check this out? Or was it a, uh, you said you were playing uh, Animal Crossing. Was it a thing in Animal Crossing? Okay, if I remember correctly, there's a, oh, bats. That would be, again, why I felt like it was an ominous hallway. Because danger, things to kill. Okay, and back to here. All right. Oh. Which actor? Well, I mean, if it's clickbait for a thing, then yeah, probably. But which actor? Betty White. Ah, uh, I mean, honestly, her her death has been rumored for like a hundred years now. Um, so like, she's gonna be she's gonna outlive all of us. She's a literal force of nature. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing that, that I missed over here. Okay, all right. Okay. <sighs> all right, so there's a, a switch, it looks like, there. Which I think opens that door, I think. There's things up there, and I don't think it... I don't think I can jump up and grab that. No, I figured not. I've heard she's a sweet... I've heard nothing but good things about Betty White. In fact, I think Yvonne, like, sings her praises. I think it's Yvonne. I don't remember for sure. Okay, so I have a couple of things over there that I want to go check out. If, if, the reason I'm kind of hanging, hovering around the uh, perimeter of this of this central room is because I know for a fact that at some point you fight another bear here and I just I don't want to trigger it until it's until I have to um yeah okay so there there's two doors over there that are free to open so I'll go in there first and then I know I need to end up in the water eventually but I want to pull this lever first so I'll do those two rooms then I'll come over here and do this lever all right bear where you at or are you not yet Bear. Hello, bear. Oh, there's... What's in here? Oh, 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 that's right. That's the door with the key. Okay. Well, the bear's not coming out, so either I'm a little early or I'm in the... I'm not where it triggers. There he is! There he is! Fuck me! Get off the wall, Lara. Okay. Well health pack that's why i've been picking these all up oh look at his cute face all right all right 
anything in here? No. All right, then up. Hey, meta pack. Anything over here? That's gonna be a nope. Unless, well, hold on, is that? Okay, it's just uh, symmetry. That's the word I'm looking for. Symmetry. And we come over here and get our Lara. Okay, nothing there. And I look down there. Okay. All right. So that was that. Sorry, another a friend of mine who was uh, was lamenting the fact that she only just got home from work and missed some of this, uh, some of the the majority of the stream. Okay, so now we'll come over here and hit this switch. Anything? Nope. Okay. At least not. Okay. Random step down. Probably a fire. Probably supposed to be a fire pit. Oh, poor li lion. I don't think I'm in the right part of the world for that to be a lion skin. It doesn't look like a bear skin. The tail. The tail says it's a lion. Whatever. I think I'm in Peru. Maybe? Do they have lions in Peru? Huh. And walk. Okay, now if I remember correctly, I have to... Yep, yep, yep. I have to be careful, because if I jump too high, I'll hit my head on the... Well, that's not fucking creepy. I can't zoom in. A wall full of skulls. All right, and those things will fall, so I have to grab them just right. Not grab them, I have to land on them and run just right. Well. That's not creepy at all. Okay, what's down here? Hmm, what is this block that is obviously discolored from the rest of the wall? Shorty get low, 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 low. <laughs> I regret everything. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. How do I want to do this? All right. Pull these just in case, because I don't remember if there's a wolf. There are bats. They're almost as bad as wolves. As wolves. Okay. Can I interact with this thing? Nope, that's a no. Welcome, viewers. You're, you're catching the tail end of the stream. But welcome, nonetheless. I apologize, the... Um, uh, I'd had everything ready, but for some reason, the, um, that's a key that looks like it'll fit inside of the lock we found earlier. Um, I've had a little bit of difficulty with, uh, technical difficulties with this. The, um, will this let me pick me, pick it up? Is this pick up? It is. Um, the sound effects are not working. The the audio, the soundtrack is, as you can hear. It's um, 
uh, what's the term? More like amb ambiance than anything else. Um, let me get this block back in here so that I can climb up on it and go up to the upper level. But I apologize that the that there's not more audio from the game. That you I it really you don't realize how much of uh, a game like this is its sound effects until they're not there. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the uh, movie sequences um, the movie sequences are also not working. So, oh. girl gets low as fuck to pull this block. I don't think she's doing the the appropriate recommendation of how you move things. I mean, maybe. I don't remember. It's been too long since I've had to worry about lifting and pulling and pushing heavy objects and proper ways of doing it without hurting your back. Um, all right. But, yeah. Oop, oop, oop. Bat, bat, bat. Bat, bat. It's a bad bat. Lol. Okay. Pick that up. What is in there? Oh, bats. Bats, that's what's in there. Bats and death. Okay, so it's just a drop down. It's not a... Uh, it's just a way out. It's okay. It's just a way out. Um, Alright, so I could go open that door now. I could... I also have... So I have the silver key and I have the gold idol. So I could go open the door or I could and I could go um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Could go open the door and continue on or I could go for a swim. I think I'm just going to straight up go for a swim. We have time. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for a swim. Okay. Shall we? Swan dive! Because always be swan diving. Okay. Now I need to go this way, if I recall. And then up. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. My... Oh, here we go. Lever. Levers. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, Lara! Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Hopefully that's not timed, because I want to go exploring over here a bit. Uh, I think there's a place for me to pull up and get some water. I mean, some air. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yes. Nope, that's a hatch. That is not going to... Lara. You're... Lara. Well. Uh... Rip. Okay. If I remember correctly... Nope, okay. Well. <laughs> An old trick that I learned um, the hard way. I don't know if it's... Still true, but we'll see. Now load the game. Nope, it's not. Okay, well, we're going to die. So. <laughs> All right. Wow, her, her breath went down a lot faster than I remembered it going down. 
Then again, I may be more used to the more modern games. And you know what's unfortunate? I saved a while ago! Other, other than being in the water. And there's no autosave. Alright. So there are four wolves here. One. Two. And three and four. Let's see how quickly I can go through this. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. And then there was one down here. Alright. 737. We can do this. You're dead. Okay. And there was nothing to pick up in here, from what I recall. I'm just going to go around and... Around and round and round. Okay. Oh, and that's right. There's another wolf up here. There it is. And now it's dead. Pick that up. Come around here. More bats. Somewhere. Not here? Okay, not here. Here are the bats. Ooh, that's a lot of bats, actually. Okay. Okay, okay. And then... I don't recall if there's anything actually... I think there is more bats along in along this route. But it doesn't hurt to run through here to be sure. Welcome, if you're just now joining the stream, to Tuesday, Raider Tuesdays. <laughs> it's where I play classic. It's where I play the Tomb Raider games, essentially. Um, we actually just died. You know what? Okay, let me get the bear first. The bear and that. Um, let me kill the bear first, and then we'll go down into the water. Because I think what's down there is just a secret. I don't think it's actually. Oops, that's the wrong way. Lure him out into the open a bit more. I love that he just kind of lays down. Just like. I'm tired. They're not dead. They're tranquilizer darts. That's what it is. They're not real pistols. She's not a cold-blooded killer of everything in front of her. Except for when she is. Alright. But yeah, so what I think... Okay, so if I remember, the, the key goes to that one doorway over that direction, which is what progresses onto the next segment of the level. And I th that means that the water is not important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. And then, oops, I didn't swan dive. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't even attack. I didn't even dive into the water from the right angle. Okay. All right, and then walk, walk, okay. That's... And I dove way too late there. Okay, and... Lara, Lara, why are you doing this to me? Come on, let me show off to the people. There we go. Okay. So we're going to make a beeline straight for that, because um, there was not any, uh, 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 whatchamacallits, what uh, any pickups in here that I saw. So I'm going to go ahead and just beeline for this, pull the lever, Lara, and then we're going to swim back, not there, down, there we go. And then we're going to come up here. Ooh, that air is getting kind of low. But that's okay, because this is where we're going. All right. And then around here. What, what is that? Oh, snake statues, I think. 
Yeah, that's the only thing those could be. Snake statues. Makes sense, because I think they said this was, um... Shit, I don't remember the, the... I don't remember the culture that they said that this tomb was supposedly for. And that sound means... I found a secret! <clears throat> Um, for the friend who just messaged me in Hangouts, how about, oh, okay, so I have a friend who is not wanting to chat publicly in the, in the Twitch chat, which is fine, um, she's instead messaging me through Google, um, and yes, I'm going to call you out, um, but. I'm going to put it up to the rest of the people in the group chat to uh, come up with a uh, code name for her because she does not – she would prefer not to have her real name out there on the internet, which nobody can fault her for. So what shall we call her? <laughs> All right. So now that I've done that, let's save so I don't have to do that again. Not that it was that hard, but still. Um, yes, I am doing this right now. <laughs> the Queen. Ooh, how apt. The Queen from Mr. Generic Name. And it fits, and I approve. So that's what it is. The Queen says hello to Twitch. <laughs> the Queen is among us. She is an absolute queen. She approves. She approves, Mr. Generic Name. Good job. <laughs> What's really funny is that um, it's not even going to be that hard for me to not just reflexively uh, call her by her real name because of that nickname. All right. So, yeah, creepy ass wall of skeleton skulls again. <laughs> um, I mean... To be fair, Queen, it's absolutely, absolutely accurate, to be fair. Um, alright. But yeah, so we're gonna just ignore those giant, that, that massive wall of creepy-ass skulls again. And, oh, 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 that's right, I want to push you in because I want to be able to get to that second level. Yeah, and with, it, it, it is funny that that's what was chosen, Queen, because, especially because as far as I know, yeah, no, Mr. Generic Name does not know anyone else. Like, he's just a friend, he's just a friend that got picked up from joining our, uh, joining Yvonne's stream one day, and he's been awesome and hanging out and joining us for these streams and everything. <laughs> Okay, uh, hey, science, do me a favor and tell your wife to stop messaging me because it's making it so I can't see the queen's messages. <laughs> please. Lara, 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 please. Okay. All right, and then up here and over here to get the, oop, well, we'll just do that. The Queen says that this game brings back memories. It does. I, I had a like a 20 minute monologue at the start of the stream talking about how important this series has been to my life and all that shit. I'm not going to I'm not going to redo it all because if you want to watch it, you can watch it on the VO oh, bats. You can watch it on the VOD uh, to, uh, later tonight or tomorrow whenever I put it up on my YouTube channel. 
uh, which is youtube.com slash Crimson Knight. Um, actually, is it Crimson Knight or is it Crimson Ga Crimson Knight Gaming? I don't remember. The uh, actually, I don't have to remember because if you give me a oh bats! Damn it! I put down the controller. Because <sighs> if I just do this and go over to Twitch chat, come on. Uh, and then I do this, I believe. Yes. If I go here <coughs> and send, will it do it? Yay! There is the link to my YouTube channel um, where you can watch all the VODs of my previous streams, including the, uh, including, uh, but not limited to Tomb Raider Tuesdays and my Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed series. Announcer voice. Anyway, um, but yeah, the um, yeah, this will uh, like with my Assassin's Creed streams, the the um, the VOD of this stream will be available on, and that's another bat, and another bat. Damn it! <clears throat> you guys specifically wait for me to put the pistols away before showing up, don't you? <coughs> I apologize for that cough just then. <clears throat> Comes with having a dry throat. Okay. But yeah, um, the uh, yes at the queen. This is a very nostalgic game for me, and a very important one for my life, and one of the reasons why I'm actually streaming right now. And as much of a gamer as I am. So you can watch that whole monologue I had at the beginning, as well as the technical difficulties I have, I've been enduring. Um, okay, so that's where I went in there. There's, is that a bat? No, that's shadow. Okay. Well, it's not a shadow. It's, it's a drawn-on shadow. Um... The, uh... Okay, so this is the door I'm going for, right here. Alright, so it is almost actually 7.50, my time, which means it's 10 till 8. Hey, it's uh, Matt in chat, he says, uh, as you saw on the screen. Um, no problem, I'm actually really excited, as, I was, uh, as I've said numerous times, I'm so thrilled to be playing this game. Because, oh god, I love it so much, and the series as a whole. Um... Welcome to your lurking status, uh, Matt. Welcome, welcome. Um, Alright, but yeah, so it is 10 till 8, uh, so I'll actually start wrapping it up here, because um, I like to monologue in my streams, go figure. I talk a lot, go figure. Uh, for the people who know me, that's par for the course. Um, Alright, and also, this is a pretty decent spot to, to, to chill. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to save right here. And uh, then, yeah. We, unfor I, I kind of wish I could turn it around so that you could actually see Lara's face. Well, hold on. Will it let me? Sometimes you can glitch the camera to let you do a thing. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, instead you get her side profile, which is... Very polygon, uh, polyg po polygonal, polygonal, I believe is the proper proper pronunciation. Anyway, all right, so we will actually, I already saved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'll put that down, actually. Put the lid on my water bottle so I don't accidentally knock it on the floor. That would be bad. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, because I tried the alt tab, she is now jumping hysterically. Okay. <laughs> um, next week I will be actually having these, the various audio, the various technical difficulties that I've endured this entire stream, uh, and the reason why there was no sound effects. Um, I will most likely have those fixed by next week. I I will promise to try. 
I suspect that it will involve an uninstall and a reinstall, which isn't a lengthy process, but it may remove the save, at which point I will just get back up to this point and try to grab that uh, secret that I missed in the first level. That I didn't miss it. I had to skip it because I didn't want to spend an hour trying to get it to work. Um, so, yeah, I will be doing that eventually. Uh, that will be next. That will be between now and next week. In the meantime, in the meantime... Uh, remember that a VOD of this stream will be going up on YouTube, as I've already said, hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Um, it will be later, normally, normally, when it's my, my Assassin's Creed streaming time, uh, it, it's usually up by midnight, because of just trans, uh, downloads of, from, uh, downloading it from, uh, from Twitch, and then uploading it to YouTube and all of that, and putting in the information and all that, usually takes about that long. Uh, so this one will probably be a bit later, so it probably um, anybody who's up at that time is not going to be in the United States, which is fine. Um, so yeah, check it out. The uh, I've already sent the link in the chat for my YouTube channel. Um, also available on my YouTube is every prior stream that I've done that I have done. Um, that includes uh, my Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed of Assassin's Creed One. Um, which is completed and uploaded, and I've labeled it as Crimson Plays Season 1, I believe. Or Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed Season 1 or something. It's in a playlist on my channel. Um, it also includes the ongoing playthrough of Assassin's Creed 2, which is currently available there as well. Um, as well as an older playthrough of Mirror's Edge, which I did several years ago for, um... Well, I specifically had a reason for doing it at the time, but it was fun. I love the game of Mirror. I love Mirror's Edge as well. Um, so yeah, I did. I recorded that several years ago. It's not in the format of a stream. It's just me playing the game. Um, but uh, yeah, the link to my YouTube channel is currently in the Twitch chat. If you if you're not in Twitch or you do not want to mess with the Twitch chat or anything like that. Uh, either message me and I'll send it to you, or it's available in my Discord, or it's um, available in my link tree, which is down below, it and stuff like that. Like Basically, links down below. Um, and if you're actually watching this currently on YouTube, after I've uploaded it and all of that, please like and subscribe, um, so that you can see more of me playing, uh, of Tomb Raider Tuesdays, and Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed, or whatever else you're interested in. Excuse me. Also, you should follow me on my social medias, um, like my Twitter and my Instagram. Not that I post very often on my Instagram, but I do post updates there for my streaming times. Um, so, yeah, follow me on my socials. I, um, I post... Um, did I spell that right? I did. Um, my link tree is now in the Twitch chat. It's, as I said before, it's also down below. Follow me on my socials. I will post updates for my streaming there, as well as just generally shit post a lot. Um, I post, I retweet or post random things from memes to politics and a whole spectrum of shit. Um, and so that is now, so my link tree is now down below as well as in the Twitch chat. Um, and if you're on YouTube, it's down below as well. Um, also, you should join my Discord. Um, there is an av available link for Discord right there on the Twitch chat as well as down below and in my link tree. You know, all the things. Um, but yeah, so tune in next, uh, next week on Monday for, from 4.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time for the continuity, uh, con continuity? That's not the word. That's not even the word that I typed out in my little sign-out script. <laughs> for the continuation, that's the one, of Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed 2. Um, and, uh, oh! And everyone should check out my friends, um, Yvonne B, Melador, Eternity, and Cosplay Katie. Um, and if you give me a second, I will actually have them on... Where is it? Come on, OBS, give me what I'm looking for, OBS. OBS is being some BS right now. There we go. All right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, check out my friends Yvonne B, Melador, Eternity, and Cosplay Katie. Um, their URLs are on the screen as of now and um with that uh they're also available in they will also be available in the discord um 
in a second. Uh, Yvonne streams. Oh man, uh, Matt, you said you you said you were lurking. If you're still there, I will actually need your help in a second. Um, but because I completely spaced and forgot to poke you uh, last night. But anyway, um, so uh, Yvonne streams every Friday and sa and Sunday with the occasional Wednesday and Thursday. I don't think those are uh, solid yet. Um, uh, to the person who's just now joining, uh, yeah, she, she streams Friday and Sundays for sure. Um, but I don't remember, I, she has popped in on Wednesday and Howie took a, did a stream takeover and sound, and it, the way they talked about it, they sounded like it was going to be a semi-regular thing on Thursdays, um, or Wednesdays. I don't remember. Anyway, um, so... On Friday at around 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, not Central Time, Eastern Time, um, she's on here. She's on her Twitch channel, uh, playing either Tales of Symphonia or Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley. I think those are the three main things she sticks to. Um, if she's not there, then uh, her boyfriend uh, will be there playing some Factorio. Um, if not, something else. I think Factorio is mainly what he's been playing. Howie, if you're here, can you confirm that? uh for me um but yeah for the viewer who just joined in um i'm sorry you're literally at the tail end of my stream i'm trying to wrap this up because it's almost eight o'clock um but the uh the uh vod of this stream uh if you're interested will be on my youtube channel as well as available here later um so let me go ahead and put the youtube channel back in the twitch chat for new the new person um but yeah so uh, on the occasional Thursday, last this last week when uh, Howie did his vac Factorio takeover of <coughs> Yvonne, B, uh, Yvonne B's uh, Twitch channel, uh, that was Thursday at around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I want to say. Um, and Sundays, uh, she uh, on Sundays, Yvonne does, I think she's been calling it like an island tour, but I don't remember for sure. Um on Animal Crossing New Horizons, where she goes to various people's uh, islands and they show her around and talk about their islands and stuff. I think, I think I've been a bad friend and haven't been able to actually see, like, tune in for one of those, um, unfortunately, because I, of reasons. Um, actually, Mr. Generic, uh, you don't happen to know offhand, do you? Uh, like, about when she started her streaming for that? Uh, on Sundays and things like that? You don't happen to have any more information? About uh, Yvonne's Animal Crossing New Horizons Island guest star things? You don't happen to know anything about that? I will sit here and wait. <laughs> no. Um, until he's... One Eastern time? Okay. All right. On Sundays. Yeah, one Eastern time on Sundays. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, they're approximately around that time. Um, if you're not sure for sure, I'm sure there's there will be more information on her Twitch chat, on her Twitch channel, which is going into the Twitch chat as we speak. Um, and it's also, as I said, available on screen and down below and in my link tree and all of that um so yeah um there's that um melador uh matt who popped in a bit ago uh to establish his lurking presence um is uh also streams uh he streamed last night he played some uh baldur's gate 3 and oh my god that game is awesome uh it's so beautiful and all of that wonderful stuff. Um, and it's pretty great. Um, and because I'm a shit friend, I don't actually remember what his schedule is, and I didn't write it down, and I forgot to poke him last night because I'm a shit friend. I'm sorry, Matt. Um, so if you don't mind, actually, quickly... Uh, so if you don't mind... Act oh, did I... Hold on. Did my stream freeze? No? It looks like it's fine. Okay. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay. 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 Um, 
do you have is all your is your entire focus going to be on Baldur's Gate three or is it going to or are you still playing some Stardew Valley Fro and Frostpunk? Because those were the other games that you were playing at one point. Um. Also, and his URL is on screen and down below, and it is now in the Twitch chat as well. Um, while I'm waiting on his reply. For the, for the time being, you're going all in on Baldur's Gate 3. Good to know. Good to know. Um, um, so I will have to make a note of that. Mondays and Wednesdays. Let me go ahead and copy and paste that into my notes so that I don't, you know, actually forget, again, like a horrible, horrible being. Horrible friend. So horrible. Anyway, uh, so check him out. He's awesome. Um... Uh, Yvonne and I have been calling him Twitch Jesus, uh, and I'm still trying to get convince him to actually change his uh, his Twitch name. Um, oh, I did actually disappear. Uh, queen, am, are you still are you still seeing this Queen? Sorry, let me quickly text her to make sure that she. Okay. Um, let me know if you're still, if, if it, if I came back, uh, for her queen. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Okay. So that was Matt. Um, what, what's with the face? What did I miss? Was it because of the, what did I miss? What's happening? Matt, why the face? Oh, was the face because of Twitch Jesus? No, it's not just because your character looks like Jesus. It's because you look like Jesus. With the beard and the hair. Twitch Jesus, you really need to change. We we we're, 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 we are really trying to get you to change, or at least I am really trying to get you to change your your Twitch channel. Um. Anyway, uh, so yeah, check him out. Uh, he said it was Wednesday, Mondays and Wednesdays, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, and he's going to be playing Baldur's Gate three for the time for the foreseeable future. Um. And in the past, he's played Frostpunk and Stardew Valley, as well as, oh, what was it? Uh, Subnautica. That was the other one. Um, Eternity. My other friend, Eternity. Another friend of mine, Eternity. Uh, he stream. He, he has streamed pretty often, though he doesn't have a set schedule. Um, he play. He he plays various things. I've seen him play things like Star Wars: The Old Republic, as well as the Final Fantasy VII remake, and a, and a bunch of other things. Uh, he basically he streams whatever the hell he feels like whenever he feels like streaming it. Um, so check out uh, check him out whenever uh, if you want. Uh, his URL is on screen, as is the rest of them, and it's also in the Twitch chat and in my link tree and down below, as with all the rest of them. <sighs> then cosplay Katie. Um, she is a cosplayer um, and is awesome as fuck. Um, she, uh, her link to Twitch is in the, uh, excuse me, her Twitch channel link is in the, is on the screen and in the brain Twitch chat. It's in the Twitch chat. That's what it's called. The Twitch chat. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's on, uh, it's on screen and in the Twitch chat. You should check her out. She's been playing some, uh, She's actually been a little bit her her schedule is fluid because uh, you know life, um, but she's great. Her cosplays are amazing. Che um, she has an Instagram where you can check out her cosplays. Uh, the link to her Instagram will be on her channel, um, so you can get that through going to her channel, um, which is as I said on screen and down below and in the link tree and in the Twitch chat. Um, and I'm probably because of mirroring and all that pointing to the wrong directions on the camera. Whatever. Anyway, so next up, actually, that's everybody. Cosplay Katie, Eternity, Matt, and Yvonne. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I, so, so that's everybody. Twitch chats, etc. Um, Twitch chat down below, link tree, on screen, 
etc. Basically, at this point, y'all should have no excuse for not knowing what the URLs are for these people. Uh, check them out. Um, or, or, if you don't want to mess with actually going to their channels, you can pop in here whenever one of them is live, because as long as there is no conflict with, others, with uh, one of the others on the list, um, they may or may not be actually, you know, on the stream currently. Or not on the stream currently, but I will be hosting them. That's the word. Hosting. I will be hosting them here. I am so sorry for all of this. I am reading a thing, but my brain is also dying. Because uh, <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. Um, so yeah, as long as they're, they're not, you know, overlapping each other with their streaming times, uh, they'll be po hosted here. Um, so you can pop in here and check them out whenever you want. Um, moving on, if you're in the United States of America, please do not forget to vote. It's a very important election. If you're eligible to vote, don't forget to vote. It's a very important election this year. I won't tell you who you should vote for, um, but voting matters. If you're not sure if you are allowed to vote, uh, you can look it up online, um, or you can uh, make sure you are registered. Uh, to vote in the United States. Um, check Each state has different registration deadlines. I don't know when all of those are. Um, there are things like early voting and absentee voting and things like that. If you Google it, they're, they're available. You should check, them out, uh, check that out because voting is important. It matters, especially this year. Um, so, yeah, if you're eligible to vote in the USA, please do. If you're not sure... Uh, yay, the queen has, uh, I have returned for the queen. Uh, the Twitch, my Twitch has returned for the queen. <laughs> Thought everybody should know that. Um, but yeah, so make sure you've registered to vote and all of that. Um, the link is in the Twitch chat or you, or it's just a quick Google search away. Um, if you're not from the United States of America and you're watching this, uh, you should also vote in your local elections. Um, I don't have information for that to provide you because I'm not from there. Uh, but you should definitely, definitely participate. Um, things can only get better with the more people that actually voice their opinions. Um, so, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh! Oh, this last bit, this last bit is very, very, very important. So make sure that you pay close, close attention to this. So don't make sure you make sure you pay close attention to this. All right. You got you guys with me right here. This last bit is very important. Remember that you matter. Don't forget that. I know it doesn't feel like it all the time, but you do. You are important. You are loved and you deserve love. In, the, in these rough, dark times, you have to take care of yourself. Taking time off of things, be it social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever it is. Taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing. Your physical and mental health matter. I have crisis resources available in my link tree. And their links are all, the URLs are also currently available in the Twitch chat. They are links to places like uh, resources for suicide prevention, substance abuse, domestic abuse, sexual assault. Please check those out if you need them. They're available in the, the links to them are available in the chat and they're in my link tree. If you are not in the United States of America, some, some of those links may only be available for the United States. I don't know. If they don't work for you or they are... Uh, unavailable in your country or whatever, I'm pretty sure that most countries have their own version of these things. If you Google them, you will find them. If you need help, ask for it. Make sure to wear a mask, wash your hands, keep at least six feet away from each other because COVID-19 is still here and it's still getting worse. It's still getting worse. There are people in power who are brushing it off as if it's nothing to worry about. But if you're if but if you've been actually paying attention, even in the most remote sense, you'd have you'd be able to plainly see that that's not true. 
Be safe, be kind, and be empathetic towards those around you. Just because they're wearing a mask, just because they are wearing a mask, doesn't mean that they're safe from you. They're protecting you by wearing the mask, and it's only right that you show them the same level of respect and consideration. Have empathy, be kind, love yourself, and love everyone around you. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.